there is this battle between the between a law of a country and 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 religion uh, religion is trying to creep into the political system or the law system or law is trying to push it away now we see that happening in pakistan with the, with regard to this incident now who trumps whom because uh, the supreme authority should be in that particular moment the law of the land everybody is is entitled to follow that but then these fanatics comes in and say no no it is god now where is the the line drawn because you know this person has nothing to do with with that entire country's political system or, or, or their their fights so where should the line be drawn yeah now general siaul haq when he got the power thereafter the country changed they made state religion as islam and thereafter when others came to power even benasir honorable mm-hmm. benasir bhutto they they try to liberalize and also as minister said same thing but the issue is not that because this teaching system there are religious schools whatever they feed you must have a blind worship mm-hmm. even no one is going to criticize them so they start with their teaching criticism the god punishment is the death now how can you tell that religion is a absolute human rights in even sri lanka chapter 3 article 10 it's very clearly see but that is where the religion we see all these are even in moderate time not this extremes so therefore what they try to do this absolute right to religion overtaken by the leaders tpl leaders so whatever they say you must follow the order given you cannot criticize or question that system must change not in pakistan even in sri lanka you have seen certain extremism groups and also we are the law now even this TPL supporters or even these workers were bodily doing this harm that is also against i have seen in uh, video mm. footage that is we are policemen they don't take any action mm-hmm. any action you know same thing happened in sri lanka 1983 when the riots came police never took action finally what happened to us so the same question they have to face in united nation human rights council february march 2022 session so therefore now even must come for action the action as honorable minister say this is a well civilized area now so it's unbelievable this is metropolitan Quite if it is in another remote area <laughs> i can believe this but that means even with the civilized people there is no one try to go against that is where they are keeping in under pressure even this post let's see there was a statement because i heard that foreign investor so someone is going to visit but they want to stop that and even that area they are may have employee employee issues that is a different one mm. to handle there is a labor right. tribunal in pakistan as well as pakistan they have the human rights commission all these things are there because it's a big yeah, city yeah, yeah. but now the investigation 112 members were arrested of this uh, unmobilized right and the other one six people arrested and the video audio evidence is very clear we right. we did this so the confession is there even confession given you can't so it has to be their legal system you have to put the charges and they are mm. after independent judge uh, you must go with the case so this is a good eye opener for pakistan and telling on this human rights day minister